Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 2900 XT 512MB video card. What's included with the HIS HD 2900 XT video card is a installation guide, software, drivers, one sticker, a free copy of the black box which includes Half-Life 2 Episode 2 Portal and Team Fortress 2. They also include an HD TV component adapter, a video in video out adapter, two DVI to VGA dongles, one DVI to HDMI dongle, as well as a crossfire bridge. The new line of Radeon HD 2000 series cards is available in a number of different models, the 2900 XT, 2600 XT, 2600 Pro, 2400 XT, and the 2400 Pro. These are all next-gen products, but the 2400 series is targeted at the budget market, the 2600 series is more mainstream, and the 2900 series is for the hardcore gamer. The HIS HD 2900 XT PCI Express video card is based on the R600 chip which is built on the 80 nanometer manufacturing process and has 700 million transistors. The cooler on this card is quite large and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heatsink and then ports all the warm air outside the case. It's an excellent design that works very well and is used on most HIS video card products. The fan is also temperature controlled which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. Let's have a closer look at the massive heatsink. It's all copper and comes in direct contact with the core and the memory. There are also many fins and two large heat pipes for added cooling. As video card coolers go, this one is very impressive and will have no problem keeping the video card cool under default speeds. If you are overclocking, I would recommend additional case cooling just to be safe. This video card has two DVI connections and an HD TV video in video out connection. Also note that the video card requires two power cable connections, a 6 pin and an 8 pin. Now two 6 pin PCI Express power leads will work but only a 6 and 8 pin connection will allow overclocking. Please be aware that since the power consumption of this product is around 215 watts of maximum load, a quality high wattage power supply is strongly recommended. The core speed on this product is 740 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GDDR3 memory is 1650 megahertz. It comes with 320 stream processing units for Vertex pixel and geometry data. The fill rate is 47.5 gigapixels per second and the memory bandwidth is 106 gigabytes per second. This video card has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video but let me cover the main ones. It has a massive 512-bit memory interface, custom filter anti-aliasing, unified super scalar shader architecture, tessellation, high-definition multimedia interface output support, and DirectX 10, which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video, you can clearly see the differences between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers more dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. 
This is possible because it manages data between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI, and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is a Vivo HD video and display platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card also supports dual display, and this means using two displays rather than one will tremendously increase workspace. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest ATI video cards use a small crossfire bridge to connect each video card together instead of the cumbersome external cable once used. This makes installation much easier. This video card performs exceptionally well. It supports DirectX 10 and is highly overclockable, but you need to have a quality power supply in order to run it, especially if you're doing a Crossfire video card setup. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgamerman.com. And while you're there, you can go to the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgamerman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. A free copy of the black box. The black box, black box, black box. A six pin and an eight pin. Now two six pin and an HD TV video in. Video out, losing voice. <clears throat> the Windows Vista is truly limited, and that's why I choose to to you to use to choose to use uh, yeah. mind blowing games, visually stunning games that you've ever seen in your entire life, baby.